So I'll start out with Charlotte's legs. So last time we basically designed the geometry of this linkage. When it comes to actually building this flexure linkage, there are other things we have to consider. One of the main things is how will we combine rigid and flexible materials to create this linkage. This time I'm trying something different. It may or may not work, but this allows me to have a little bit more control over the manufacturing process. So I might be more comfortable with this. My approach this week essentially deals with having slots in the flexible material for rigid inserts, which eventually I'll probably glue into it. And then this entire leg becomes a single part, but it does require some adhesive, which I'm usually not the biggest fan of. Now I want to be able to have these legs, this part that I can glue together with multiple components, be easily swappable and you can purchase more of these legs for cheap in case one of them gets damaged you just yank it off of charlotte and pop it right back in. i settled on these snap peg designs that you see in a lot of 3d printable parts i'm still not super sure if that's going to be the actual way to do it there are some downsides like friction uh, but we'll see, it seems like friction already is kind of a component that we didn't take into account into the models. I'm definitely gonna take some time to tweak the clearances between the parts and see if we can minimize friction that way.